Hey y'all, how are you doing? Um, Happy New Year. I know a lot of you haven't seen my face for a while. That's because I've been taking a time out on my business to connect with families. Also, I moved to another state, so I now live in Utah. Um, it's actually snowing outside right now, which is super fun for me being a SoCal girl and not ever seeing snow. But anyways, I, you know, it's a new year. I have some 2017 goals for myself and my business, just as I'm sure you do as well. And so I wanted to start off the new year with a video that addresses how to stop dabbling in lead generation and really commit to marketing yourself and your business in 2017. That's something that I'm going to be focusing on a lot. And that's something that any business owner, you know, quite frankly, should be focused on if they want to grow their income in this upcoming year. So I have a couple tips for you that I think will help you accomplish this and kind of change your mindset on lead generation. So the first one is that you really need, do need to have a solid marketing plan. So I'm, I know a lot of you out there have business coaches or you know outside help on developing your marketing plan, but I would encourage you to take some time to really think through what that marketing plan is gonna look like and you know write down some goals, but you also need to write down uh, a list of tasks and, and priorities for each quarter for how you're going to hit those goals. So it's not enough just to have a goal of, I want to make this much money. Um, obviously, that's where you start. But then how are you going to, what are you going to do every day? What are these little bite-sized steps that you're going to take every day that are going to help get some momentum for your business and actually help you achieve those goals? So it's it's more than just you know having a plan where it's like, I'm going to do all these activities. You really need to think through what the purpose is of the activities, how you're going to track and measure your success, and who's going to be on your team is going to be accountable for everything. Um, so just kind of building out a more robust plan. A lot of business owners I see don't have that robust plan, um, and they're, they know what they want to accomplish, but they're not exactly sure how they're going to get there and how their team's going to help them get there. So making sure that you map that out is really important. Now, if you need help with something like this, this is something that I'm excited about that I'm going to be focusing on in my business and for my clients in the upcoming year. And that is really taking a step back and not just thinking of our marketing as like, oh, we need a social media strategy or, oh, we need an email campaign, but really looking at and establishing this foundation of, so basically outlining who your brand is, as well as your marketing plan and kind of bringing everything together so that you can be more consistent and that everything you do is ultimately purpose-driven back to your goals. So marketing plan is huge in, you know, really getting some momentum with your lead generation. It's going to basically be your roadmap that's going to outline exactly how you're going to do what you're going to do this year. So the next point is we need to shift from being interested in lead generation to committed. And this is something that I've struggled with and I think a lot of people struggle with is that, you know, it's always on my to-do list to do these lead generation activities, whether it's a video or an email. But, you know, it tends to be the first thing that I let slip when I get busy with my clients because, of course, I want to serve my clients. But I need to adopt a different mindset towards this where, you know, Lead generation is not something that I just dabble in. It's not something I do when I have time. It is one of those priorities that I have to accomplish for myself and my business every week and no matter what. So, I mean, for me, I'm really trying to shift my mindset into where it's like, this is a must get done task. Come hell or high water, you know, I have my, you know, plan, my lead gen plan that I've outlined and I'm going to commit to it and I'm going to get it done. So that I think is important for all of us is to just, you know, ditch being interested and really commit this year. And the next point I want to make is, so once you've got your plan in place, once you're committed, you need to really have a system for tracking what you're doing and what's working. So you can obviously do more of what works. So I have a system I use with my clients. Um, it's called a scorecard where we identify three to five metrics that we track on a weekly basis that basically show the vitals of your business. So you need to adopt something similar where it's like, it's easy for you or your team member to go in an update on a regular basis, but you can look at it and it'll immediately tell you kind of the pulse of your business, how well you're doing, how close you're coming to hitting your goals, if you are falling behind, so that you can adjust as accordingly and you, you just have all this great insight on your business, it's all in front of you and it's it's, it kind of takes what you're doing up to the next level. So just making sure that you are able to really identify, you know, everything that you're doing and, and what the return on the investment is really so that you can do more of what works and, you know, maybe trim back on the things that aren't really serving you in your business. 
And the last thing I want to encourage you to do is once you do have your marketing plan in place for the year, you really need to set up 90 day priorities. So you can't just have these big audacious goals. And then I think for a lot of us, it just, it seems overwhelming where we're like, yeah, okay, a year's a long time. I have a long time to figure this out, but I don't really know how to get started. I don't really know what I'm going to do every day. And this kind of goes back to the first point I was making where you really do need to break down your goals into these smaller stepping stones. I like to do 90 day, like I said, uh, you call priorities or rocks where it's everybody on the team has their set of tasks that they have to get done in that 90 days and everything backs up the, the one year plan. So you know at the end of each quarter if you're on track or if you're slipping or if you're ahead of schedule and each quarter you do a quarterly reset and kind of adjust accordingly. And this, again, you shouldn't make it overwhelming. It shouldn't be like a list of 20 things that you have to get done. I really encourage you to stick between five and seven tasks, make it manageable, make it, you know, so that you can, you're able to get it done. And these are not necessarily just, you know, tasks, like daily tasks that you have to do. They really are, you know, some, some goals that you're going to set, some quarterly goals you're going to set, they're going to help you achieve your greater vision, your, which is your one year plan. So don't, you know, don't think of it as like a list of tasks, but more so some key things that you have to get done no matter what in order to keep yourself on track. So that's my um, two cents on how I think that we can achieve our goals in 2017. It's a combination of, you know, accountability, being disciplined, having a solid plan, um, and then really committing and following through with it. So Again, hopefully this helps you. I don't want any of us to be the type of people where we set these New Year's goals or resolutions and we set the same ones every year and we just never gain enough traction or momentum with them because, you know, they kind of, we get excited about them the first month and then we get busy and we start drowning in our business and then we forget all about, you know, what we ultimately want to achieve. So hopefully this will help provide some focus and in allow you to kind of step outside of the day-to-day -day craziness of business and really refocus on what you're trying to achieve for yourself and your business in 2017. And again, if this is something you need help with, um, this is a service that I'm offering this upcoming year. Uh, I've had a lot of great feedback from my clients on putting together this marketing plan. Um, it really outlines your brand identity, your vision, and kind of just nicely ties it all together so that anything you're doing with regards to your marketing is laser focused, it's you know purpose driven, and it's consistent for yourself for your brand and for your clients. So uh, reach out to me if you have questions on that. I'd love to help you out. You can message me here on Facebook or you can go to my website um, and there's a contact form on there you can send to me. I'd love to connect with you. And um, yeah, I hope you had a wonderful holiday season and I look forward to staying in touch with you this year.